早晨，歡迎大家翻返嚟啊 ！Learn with Tom Lee 嘅 A Level 數學 Mathematics 金堂，亦都係繼續第七課七點六節 Proving Trigonometric Function。Proving 嘅意思就係我哋想證明有兩個 trigonometric identities， 左邊係等於右邊 ，left hand side 等於 right hand side。我哋睇睇例子，例如 show that two sine theta 除比二 ，cosine theta 除比二 ，cosine theta 係等於。二分之一個 sin two theta。首先我哋攞 sin 二 a 就係等於兩個 sin a cos a。sin theta 就係等於二 sin theta 除比二 cos theta 除比二。left hand side 兩個 sin theta 除比二 cos theta 除比二乘比 cos theta 就會等於係 sin theta 乘比 cos theta。sin theta 乘比 cos theta， 亦即係等於二分之一個 sin 兩個 theta， 因為 sin 二 a 就等於兩個 sin a cos a， 所以 sin theta cos theta 啊係等於二分之一個 sin 二 theta， 亦即係等於 right hand side 右手邊。咁我哋就 prove 咗兩個 identity， 左邊 identity 同埋右邊 identity 係一樣嘅。B part show that 一加比 cos 四個 theta。係等於兩個 cos square theta， 左邊 left hand side 一加比 cos 四個 theta， 亦即係一加比兩個 cos square 二 theta 減一，一減一就零，所以剩翻就係二 cos square two theta， 一係等於右手邊二 cos square two theta， 左邊等於右手邊，跟住落嚟 prove the identity tangent to theta 係等於二除比。cotangent theta 減 tangent theta， 左手邊 left hand side 等於 tangent 兩個 theta， 亦即係等於兩個 tangent theta 除比一減 tangent square theta。Divide the numerators and the denominators by tangent theta。上下我哋都除比 tangent theta， 上邊除比 tangent theta 就會係等於二，下邊一除比 tangent theta， 呢個就係 tangent square theta 除比 tangent theta。就會係二除比 cotangent theta 減 tangent theta， 亦即係等於右手邊呢一個證明咗，亦即係等於 tangent 兩個 theta。第三條嘅例子 ，prove that square root sum cos 四個 theta 加比 sin 四個 theta 係等於兩個 cos 四個 theta 減 pi over 六。我哋首先攞右手邊兩個 cos 四個 theta 減 pi over 六，亦即係兩個 cos 四個 theta。cos pi over 六加俾兩個 sin 四個 theta sin pi over 六 cos pi over 六就係 square root 三除比二 sin pi over 六就係二分之一乘入去，我哋就會剩翻 square root 三 cos 四個 theta 加俾二分一乘二，亦即係一加俾 sin 四個 theta， 亦即係等於左手邊、右手邊等於左手邊，我哋就 prove 咗兩個 identity 係相等嘅。做咗三個嘅 example， 大家準備好紙筆同埋計數機，我同大家一齊做第四、第五、第六、第七同埋第八條。做完第八條之後，我哋就會有一個 challenge 嘅題目，包括第一條嘅 A、B、C， 第二條嘅 A 同埋 B。準備好，我哋一齊努力啦 ！Question number four A: Show that the tangent theta plus cotangent theta equal to two cosecant theta. So we get the right hand side equal to two cosecant two theta equal to over sine two theta and sine phi and sine two theta is equal to two sine theta cosine theta, so it's equal to one over sine theta cosine theta. This is the right hand side. And the left hand side is equal to tangent theta plus cotangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta plus cosine theta over sine theta, and we add them together, so we got sine square theta plus cosine square theta over cosine theta sine theta. Sine square theta plus cosine square theta is equal to one, so it's one over 
cosine theta, sine theta is equal to the right hand side. So we prove the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And then the B part, hence find the values of tangent 75 degree plus cotangent 75 degree. So it's tangent 75 degree plus cotangent 75 degree is equal to 2 cosecant 150 degree is equal to 2 over size 150 degrees. So size 150 degree is equal to size 30 degrees. And size 30 degrees is equal to half. So we got 2 over half. So it's 2 divided by half, just mean 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4. The answer is 4. Question number 5a. Show that sine 3 theta equal to 3 sine theta cosine square theta minus sine crit theta. So from the left hand side, we have sine 3 theta is equal to sine 2 theta plus theta. It's equal to sine 2 theta cosine theta plus cosine 2 theta sine theta. And sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. Multiply by cosine theta plus cosine 2 theta is cosine square theta minus sine square theta. Multiply by sine theta. And we have 2 sine theta cosine square theta plus cosine square theta sine theta minus sine crit theta is equal to 2 and 1 so we got 3 sine theta cosine square theta minus sine crit theta is equal to the right hand side so we proved and then part b we want to show that cosine 3 theta equal to cosine crit theta minus 3 sine square theta cosine theta. From the left hand side, we have cosine 3 theta is equal to cosine 2 theta plus theta. It's equal to cosine 2 theta cosine theta minus sine 2 theta sine theta. And it's equal to cosine square theta minus sine square theta. This is from the cosine 2 theta and multiplied by cosine theta minus this one is sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta multiplied by sine theta. And we have cosine cube theta minus cosine theta sine square theta minus 2 cosine theta sine square theta. So we got cosine cube theta minus 3 cosine theta sine square theta is equal to the right hand side. So we proved. We got part C, hence or otherwise, show that the tangent 3 theta equal to 3 tangent theta minus tangent square theta over 1 minus 3 tangent square theta. From the left hand side, we have tangent 3 theta is equal to sine 3 theta divided by cosine 3 theta. And we from the part A and part B, we got sine 3 theta is equal to 3 sine theta cosine square theta minus sine crit theta. From part B, we have cosine crit theta minus 3 sine square theta cosine theta. And we divide the numerator and the denominator by cosine crit theta. So we got 3 sine theta cosine square theta divided by cosine crit theta minus sine crit theta divided by cosine crit theta. And also the denominator, cosine crit theta, 
divided by cosine quid theta minus 3 sine theta cosine theta divided by cosine quid theta. This one we cancel out, we got 3 tangent theta. This one is minus tangent quid theta. This one is 1, so it's 1 minus. This one is cancel. Got two here, got one cancel. So we got this one is square, right? So so we got the three tangent square theta is equal to the right hand side. Very good, we proved it. And then part D, given that theta is an acute angle and that cosine theta is equal to one over three, show that the tangent three theta is equal to 10 multiplied square root 2 over 23. Here we draw a triangle. We draw a right angle triangle here. We got the theta here and we need we know that the cosine theta is equal to 1 over 3. This means it's 1 over 3. And how about this BC? We got BC square is equal to 3 square minus 1 square is equal to 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. So BC is equal to square root 8. So we got the tangent theta is equal to this one square root 8 over 1. Square root 8 over 1 is square root 8. Therefore, we got tangent 3 theta equal to 3 tangent theta minus tangent cre theta over 1 minus 3 tangent square theta. Over 1 minus 3 tangent square theta. So we got 3 outside here. Tangent theta is square root 8 and minus square root 8 to the crib. And this 1 minus 3 square root 8 to the square. So we got here, we take the square root 8 out. We got 3 minus square root 8 to the power 2 over 1 minus square root 8 to the power 2 is 8. Side 3, so it's 1 minus 23. So we got here square root 8, 3 minus 8, and then here we got minus 23. Multiply by minus 1, we got square root 8, 8 minus 3 over 23. And then we got 5 square root 8 over 23 is equal to 5 square root 4 times 2 over 23. We take the square root 4 out, uh, make it to 2, so we got 10 square root 2 over 23. And then we prove this one is equal to this one. Question number 6. Prove that the side square x plus y minus side square x minus y equal to side 2x, side 2y. From the right hand side, we have side 2x side 2y is equal to 2 side x side y multiplied by 2 side y cosine y. From the right hand side, we have side 2x side 2y equal to 2 side x cosine x multiplied by 2 side y cosine y is equal to 4 side x cosine x side y cosine y. This is the right hand side. And the left hand side, we have size square x plus y minus size square x minus y. So we have Psi x plus y to the square is psi x cosine y plus cosine x psi y to the square. 
minus psi x cos y minus cos x psi y to the square is equal to psi square x cos square x minus 2 psi x cos y cos x psi y and plus cos square x psi square y minus this here so we got psi square x cos square y minus 2 psi x cos y cos x psi y plus cos square x psi square y this one cancel out this one cancel out and this minus 2 this one is plus right this plus 2 is minus minus 2 this should be 4 this should be 4 psi x cos y cos x psi y is equal to the right hand side so we proved and then we prove that cos 2 theta minus square root 3 psi 2 theta equal to cos 2 theta plus pi over 3. From the right hand side, we got 2 cos 2 theta plus pi over 3 is equal to type cos theta cos pi over 3 minus psi 2 theta psi pi over 3. We got 2 multiplied by cos pi over 3 is equal to half cos 2 theta. Psi pi over 3 is equal to square root 3 over 2 psi 2 theta. Multiplied by 2, we cancel out, so we got cos 2 theta minus square root 3 psi 2 theta is equal to the left hand side. And question number 8, we want to prove 4 cos 2 theta minus pi over 6 equal to 2 square root 3 minus 4 square root 3 psi square theta plus 4 psi theta cos theta. So from the left hand side, we have 4 cos 2 theta minus pi over 6 is equal to 4 multiplied by cos 2 theta cos pi over 6 plus psi 2 theta psi pi over 6. So we got 4 here. Cos 2 theta cos pi over 6 is square root 3 over 2 cos 2 theta plus Psi pi over 6 is half, so it's half psi 2 theta. So we got here is multiplied by 4, so we got 2 square root 3 cos 2 theta plus 2 psi 2 theta. And then we expand the cos 2 theta into 1 minus 2 psi square theta and plus 2 type 2 size feeder cos feeder. So the 2 square root 3 multiply in 2 square root 3 minus 4 square root 3 psi square feeder plus 4 psi feeder cos feeder is equal to the right hand side. So we proved it. We're going to challenge number 1a, show that the cos a plus b minus cos a minus b is equal to the minus 2 psi a psi b. From the left hand side, we have cos a plus b minus cos a minus b. And then we have cos a cos b minus psi a psi b 
minus cosine A cosine B plus sine A sine B. So we got cosine A cosine B minus sine A sine B minus cosine A cosine B minus sine A sine B. So this two is cancelled out, so we got minus two psi A psi B is equal to the right hand side. So we proved it. B part hence show that the cosine P minus cosine Q is equal to minus two psi P plus Q over two psi P minus Q over two. First we let A equal to P plus Q over two and b is equal to p minus q over 2. Therefore, we have a plus b is equal to p plus q over 2 plus p minus q over 2 is equal to 2p plus over 2 is equal to p. And a minus b is equal to p plus q over 2 minus p minus q over 2 is equal to 2q over 2 is equal to q. So we have from the left hand side cosine p minus cosine q is equal to cosine a plus b minus cosine a minus b is equal to minus 2 side a side b. This one is from the a part and then we got minus 2 psi p plus q over 2 because a is p plus q over 2 and then psi p minus q over 2 because b is p minus q over 2 so this one we proved and the part c we express 3 psi x psi 7 x as the difference of cosine. So 3 psi x psi 7 x is equal to 3 over minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 psi x psi 7 x. So we let x equal to p plus q over 2 and 7 x equal to p minus q over 2. So we got the first is p plus q is equal to 2x. This is the first one and the second one p minus q is equal to 14x. This is the second equation. We got two equation, and we use the first equation plus the second equation. We got 2p equal to 16x. p is equal to 8x and then we use the equation 1 minus equation 2 we got 2q equal to minus 12x q equal to minus 6x therefore we have minus 3 over 2 times minus 2 psi x psi 7x is equal to minus 3 over 2 multiplied by cosine 8x minus cosine minus 6x. Because this one is p and q. We'll make it to p and q. So we got minus 3 over 2 multiplied by cosine 8x minus cosine 6x. We got cosine minus 6x is cosine 6x. It's the same. So we have 3 psi x psi 7x is equal to minus 3 over 2 multiplied by cosine x x minus cosine 6x. Challenge question number 2a prove that the psi p plus psi q equal to 2 psi p plus q over 2 cosine p minus q over 2. So we let a equal to p plus q over 2 and b 
is equal to P minus Q over 2. So we got A plus B is equal to P plus Q over 2 plus P minus Q over 2 is equal to 2P over 2 is equal to P. And then A minus B is equal to P plus Q over 2 minus P minus Q over 2 equal to 2Q over 2 is equal to Q. Therefore, we can write psi P plus psi Q into psi A plus B plus psi A minus B. Expand this psi A plus B, we got psi A cos B plus psi B cos A plus psi A cos B minus cos A psi B. So this two is cancelled out. So we have two psi A cos B. And A is P plus Q over 2. So we have 2 psi P plus Q over 2. And B is P minus Q over 2. Multiplied by psi. Multiplied by cos P minus Q over 2. Part B. Hence or otherwise show that's 2 psi 11 pi over 24. Multiplied by cos 5 pi over 24 is equal to square root 3 minus square root 2 over 2. So we let p plus q over 2 equal to 11 pi over 24 and p plus q is equal to 11 pi over 12. This is the first one. And then we let p minus q over 2 is equal to 5 pi over 24. So p minus q is equal to 5 pi over 12. This one is the second one. So we use the first one plus the second one equation. We got 2p equal to 11 pi over 12 plus 5 pi over 12. Is equal to 16 pi over 12. Is equal to 8 pi over 6. Equal to 4 pi over 3. So p is equal to the 4 pi over 6. Is 2 pi over 3. This is the value of p. And then we have the equation 1 minus equation 2. We got 2q equal to 11 pi over 12 minus 5 pi over 12 so it's 6 pi over 12 is equal to pi over 2 so q is equal to pi over 4 we got the values of p and q and then we write this 2 psi 11 pi over 24 cos 5 pi over 24 by psi 2 pi over 3 plus psi pi over 4. Because this one is P and this one is Q. Psi 2 pi over 3 is psi pi over 3 plus psi pi over 4. Psi pi over 3 is square root 3 over 2 and pi over 4 is square root 2 over 2. We add together, so we got square root 3 plus square root 2 over 2. We prove this one is equal to this one. Mucha gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a party tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English, for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one 
如果你希望你的Mathematics和英文更加好的話,你想要一個Private Tutor,你可以隨時contact我的,令到你的DSC Exam或者你想考SAT,你也可以contact我,因為我都有一些私人的補習在這兩方面的。多謝大家,Thank